All right, we're here today to replace the screen on a Samsung 303C Chromebook. This is a really easy procedure. There's actually only four screws to be removed and be put back. So the first thing you're going to do is take off the bezel, the front bezel, the, the top of the screen. It's all plastic and there's absolutely no screws on this part to take off. So just reach your fingers in, in the middle, and you'll see it just starts to peel away and then keep peeling away little bits at a time again there's no screws so this just pops right out a little bit of patience and come right off and that's all there is to that that'll expose the screen that we need to replace there are four screws to take off there's one here one here one here and one here that is all the screws you're going to need to deal with for these you need a small Phillips star head screwdriver so I'm using a kit that you can buy for your eyeglasses at a dollar store I think that's where we got it that'll work just fine so go ahead and remove those four screws they're a little tricky so just be patient and of course you don't want to lose these Hopefully my hand's not in the way, so you can see, but they're all the same and they'll all come off the same way. And this will give us access to take the screen right off. Again, don't lose them like I am here. Always have the laptop, this part tilted back, that way when you do remove the last screw doesn't fall this way on you. And here we'll remove the last screw. Again, they're very small and tricky, but luckily that's all we have to deal with. Now you've got all the screws off and it's just a matter of simply slowly pulling on the screen, it'll just come right off. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it flat on top of the laptop. Um, Try to miss the power button up in the right hand corner, that way you won't accidentally turn it on. So just lay it flat like it is here. Now we can go ahead and remove the only one connector that there is holding the, or connecting the screen to the computer. It's a little tricky, so what you're going to need is get yourself an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife as I have here. And you'll see there's a little yellow foil and you're going to want to lift gently up on this. Maybe you can get closer on this because this is a bit of a trick here. So you want to lift on this foil and expose it. Sometimes it can be a little sticky. But once you get it, you'll feel it's moving your way. And then once you get underneath it, just lift it up like that. And it's literally like a little hinge. Okay, And that's, that's what holds this connector in. Once you have that, then it's a matter of sliding it out very gently and voila the screen your cracked screen broken screen is now off and putting on the new screen is just doing everything in exactly the reverse fashion so when you get your new screen from laptopscreens.com as we did here it'll come all nicely wrapped up and you're going to want to keep the foam on top just to protect it until you've got this installed. So go ahead and place the screen pretty much exactly how we had it when we were taking off the old screen. And now you're going to do everything in the reverse fashion. So you're going to plug this little connector in. It goes in really simply. Maybe you can come up close to get to this again. So just make sure it's all pushed in. And then again, you can take your hobby knife and just push this little hinge here with the yellow foil on it and just close it and just make sure that it's all down use your hobby knife press it down you will kinda of feel it click a little bit and you're good that's everything there that's what connects the screen to the laptop and now it's just a matter of literally lifting it up gently again keeping in mind you don't want to accidentally hit the power button so just watch the power button in the right hand corner now we're going to place this up, get it into place, and it'll just find its own 
There we go. And it'll set back into place. Now you can literally move the the um, the foam from the top protecting it. There's also underneath a little plastic piece too as well. So we can take that off after. And then you are going to want to put your screws back in and remove the plastic bit here. And we will be done. And of course the bezel has to go on again.